Regardless of the GranMA console you are using, they all require power. The entire GranMA range uses auto-sensing power supplies capable of receiving any voltage from 90 to 250 volts. Power is fed to the console via an IEC inlet. If you ever have power issues, be aware of checking the fuse inside the inlet. The GranMA, the GranMA Lite and the GranMA Replay Unit have a built-in UPS, an interruptible power supply. In case your external power fails, they are capable to keep your console running for up to 15 minutes. On consoles with UPS, the loss of external power supply will be indicated by a pop-up window on all screens. There, you have the possibility to continue operating the console on battery power or to shut it down safely. Unattended consoles will automatically shut down after 3 minutes. The Granamay Ultralight and the Granamay Micro do not have a built-in UPS, therefore it is a wise precaution to use an external one. If power is lost to one of these smaller consoles, all data entered since the last save will be lost. Notice that the Ultralight console comes along with two power switches. The hard power switch next to the power inlet will immediately cut the power. The soft power switch on the front works in conjunction with the Granamay software. Pressing it results in automatically saving all data before shutting down. The Granamay and the Granamay Lite support two external displays. In order to use external displays, make sure that you use the ports marked VGA1 and VGA2. Apart from those two ports, there is a third one called System. This port is mainly used for identifying problems and testing software. Therefore, you should not need a display attached to this port during normal operation. The Graname Ultralight only supports a one external display. However, its system monitor port can be used to imitate the touchscreen display. The Graname Micro does not support any external displays. The Graname, Graname Lite and Graname Replay unit have four DMX ports. The Ultralight and the Micro come along with two DMX ports. Graname, Graname Lite and Graname Replay unit can be expanded to eight DMX universes by an expansion chip and the use of DMX over Ethernet devices for the extra four universes. For networking capabilities, the GranMA, the GranMA Lite, and the GranMA Replay unit are equipped with one auto-sensing 10 over 100 megabit Ethernet port. Networking with consoles, NSPs, and computers running GranMA 3D requires a 100 megabit Ethernet data transfer rate, while DMX over Ethernet devices and the GranMA's PDA remote control are generally running at 10 megabit. All GranMA consoles have a DMX input port which can be used for merging an incoming stream with one of the console's outputs for capturing DMX data or for triggering. The hard keys and faders of an executor fader can be triggered by DMX as can the hard keys be associated with an executor button. Because of the nature of GranMA playbacks, it is easy to make an external DMX console act as an expanded control surface for any GranMA console. The complete range of GranMA consoles support input and output of MIDI notes and MIDI show control for a single executor playback. MIDI in, out and through ports can be found on all GranMA consoles except on the micro, which only comes with in and out ports. Every GranMA console supports SMPTE timecode as a balanced SMPTE signal through a quarter inch standard stereo jack. Tip and ring are signals with the sleeve as reference. The GranMA range has a sophisticated audio triggering system. The audio input port is a quarter inch stereo jack.